It's winter in the northwestern corner of Iowa. The summer tourist destination of Okaboji is quiet. Arnold's Park is shuttered, its roller coaster covered in snow. The tourist vessel Queen 2 is cocooned in ice, as the region's lakes are amongst the first in Iowa to freeze. Just miles north on Big Spirit Lake, the sleepy border community is beginning to stir. Calm, quiet, cold. Those are the first thoughts that come to mind when you first set foot on Spirit Lake in the dead of winter. But there is a reason the ice anglers of Northwest Iowa flock here every year. Some of the best winter fishing in the entire state. Once the ice on Spirit Lake reaches a safe depth, anglers gradually venture out on foot, then snowmobile, then full-size trucks before the onslaught of full-blown winter ice fishing begins. This is golden hour for the fish bite. We try to get set up around 6.30, and from 6.30 to usually 8 o'clock is our best bite. Fish are very, very aggressive at dawn and dusk on Spirit Lake. The perch and walleye especially love low light conditions. It's just, it's a better feeding opportunity for the fish. Oop, there we go, we got fish on me. There's, there's some fish, we got fish, guys. There we go. Spirit Lake perch. Ryan and thousands of anglers have cut their teeth on decades of fish populations that have fluctuated from bad times to good. Almost continuously since 1957, we've been uh, tracking angler harvest and, and the number of fish that are coming off of the lake. And uh, this year, we've, uh, we harvested a little over, we estimated a little over 200,000 perch that were harvested off of Big Spirit Lake, which, which is the largest uh, harvest year that we've had. The flood of fish brings the anglers, who then provide a welcome boost to the area's relatively dormant off-season economy. This year we, we saw uh, about, we estimated about 50, a little over 50,000 anglers that took, um, took advantage of angling on Big Spirit Lake. That's just Big Spirit Lake. That doesn't include the other, the other big lakes here. This isn't the first time this community has tried to carve a wintertime economic boost. Just ask the region's ice-bound businessmen of the early 1900s. Iowa's Great Lakes like Spirit and Okoboji were once home to a budding industry ice harvesting. In the days before common household refrigeration, contractors feverishly sliced the region's ice into giant 700-pound slabs destined for homes and businesses near and far. And while the winter machinery of 1910 has long disappeared, the fish are now flourishing. Ice fishing uh, seems to be a little bit daunting for folks, but um, couldn't be a neater time to take a child out, you know, and, and it's a, uh, again, a neat atmosphere out on the lake. Um, and it's, when fishing's like it is now, it's a great time to take a, a new angler out and get them introduced to fishing. The 21st century ice carving is more about what's underneath, the joy of angling, and the solemn solitude of Spirit Lake at sunset. <laughs>